So for adiabatic flame temperature, you first consider an energy balance like this. What I did was I pulled out all those uh, enthalpy of formations and put in the standard enthalpy of combustion for whatever fuel that is. That's just a single number of the fuel. Okay, that really doesn't matter if it reacted with air or if it reacted, if it got the oxygen from pure oxygen or got the oxygen from air. But what really matters is in the products, whether or not you have a lot of nitrogen and also whether or not you have a high temperature. This is the temperature of the products coming out. Also, the temperature of the reactants can come into play. A lot of times the reactant temperature is just 298 Kelvin as a reference if they're going to talk about the adiabatic flame temperature, set it like that, so that this term, the sum of the reactants, doesn't have any additional contribution. This term is zero. It's all 298K standard temperature coming in. And if it's adiabatic, it's well insulated, there's no heat transfer, and what we find then is this temperature of the products becomes a maximum, and that's then the adiabatic flame temperature. So uh, you can see how to calculate it. You just have that the sum of the stoichiometric coefficients times the molar enthalpy of each of the uh, components evaluated at that adiabatic flame temperature minus the valuation at the reference temperature. Okay, sum over all the products plus the enthalpy of combustion, R to P, on a motor basis is equal to zero. And so you, this floats or this goes up, increases until that equation is satisfied. That gives you the maximum temperature coming out. The adiabatic flame temperature does depend on the fuel, absolutely. Is it, are you burning butane, propane, methane, octane, dodecane, whatever? It also uh, depends on the uh, if, if it's oxygen is coming from the air and the percent theoretical. So if you have a lot of excess air, you're bringing along a lot of nitrogen, and it takes a lot of energy to warm that nitrogen up. And so a lot of nitrogen dampens or brings down the adiabatic flame temperature. If you want a really hot burn with, let's say, acetylene, give it pure oxygen.